Okay, this is a video to display a interactive art project that I've been working on. Um, I've titled it Skin, and we'll see in a moment. Uh, I've got my TV here hooked up to my laptop, and the laptop's running code um, that I've uh, typed up using processing, processing.org. Um, so it's an interactive art um, and visual display programming software that lets me to use um, certain cameras and, and functions with the laptop. So right now I'm testing for motion, and if I start to move here around, you'll see on the screen that it starts to spawn these dark red um, cubes along the screen. Now, if I move quickly around, it'll start to spawn white, uh, like a bone white cubes in the middle of the screen. Um, and then if I stay still, um, you can start to see that the screen is starting to be covered up again by the lighter red or pinkish colored cubes until eventually if there's no movement um, it will disappear. So the idea is that this would be set up hopefully in a public place um, where there's a lot of movement going on. Um, I'd imagine in the gallery that might be happening so if this is set up I would need to have the laptop um, there to detect motion and run the software and then something to display this for people to see as they're passing by. Um, so just to recap, if I move slowly it's spawning darker colored red cubes. And then if I move quickly, you get the white cubes in the center. And then slowly, as I stay still, it'll start to decay and fade away. Um, just again, this title, this project is titled Skin, and it's made with the processing.org code. It's very similar to Java. All right, thank you. This is Matthew Neal, and that's it.